All right, so let me show you how to change the camera uh, on the uh, 001 game engine, which I learned that is actually not called 001 game engine. It's called the double, double 001 game creator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's right there. I don't know why I keep calling it that. Double O ones, double. Oh. See, I, I got mixed up. Okay, so let's just go to the castle interior here. Uh, this is the um, default template you find in the um, Double O One Game Creator. And uh, if you run this, let me just turn off the music first, because uh, we know what happens. Let's go to environment, turn off the music, and uh, we're going to run this. My British accent is terrible, but I keep doing it. Alright, so when you um, run this, you're going to notice that the uh, camera pulls out. So, I had a lot of emails the weekend asking me how to do that, how to change that. Because, uh, I have a friend who was trying this out and he could not figure out how to um, change the camera. Like, he could do it, but then it will mess things up. And we don't want that. All right, so let me just first let's go here first to system triggers, and um, we're gonna check out this here, this zoom here. Let me just uh, literally just set this uh, to five. Okay, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to run this, and let's see what happens. Okay, we start super zoomed in. Okay, and now it's going to pull out. So, uh, there's a lot of ways to like um, set this to like not do that. For example, we can set this uh, to like if I want this to to be at three, and we want it to stay at three. Uh, let me just pull out a um, a character here. I'm just going to make a character like a coin or something. There are a lot of ways to do this. This is uh, just an easy way to do it. Oh, I think I named it. I don't know what I named the coin. <laughs> Let me pull out an actor here. Place it anywhere. It's going to be a character. And um, let's give it a script. Okay. Uh, let's try something that runs all the time. Like like a, like a while the timer or something. Just go OK. And here under the um, start... Let me just change this to a zoom. Zoom camera to two. I think it did we go two or three? I cannot remember. Wow, I have a terrible memory. Let me just double check there the um this here. Oh we set it to three, so let me set it to two. Okay. I'm trying to do this uh, quick so I don't uh, take too much time because um uh, one thing that annoys me in tutorials is like people never get to the actual point Because <laughs> I do watch other people's tutorials uh, Sometimes If I don't know how to do something or sometimes I just press F1 to check out the instructions but, uh, If you're like me, you don't like reading long um, Paragraphs and things you kind of like to just watch a video or something and see how it's done okay so that seems to work fine there uh, we're gonna go to the second level to the entrance here Turn off the music for the castle entrance because um, I wish there was like a thing here to like turn down the music like to set up the level like like here I don't think you can here but that would be that would be sweet if there was like a Thing there to uh, bring out a zone here just uh, place it here anywhere and we're gonna do this on player collision and you do basically the same thing just double click here and go to cameras and uh, change the zoom to three go okay and okay again okay again and I'm going to make this collider a lot bigger so you cannot possibly miss it so the only way you miss this is if you somehow acquire stupid powers and then you like jump over here which is I believe at this point impossible 
uh, the collider there is invisible but the collision will change the camera to do that just need to get across that you're not going to get me fish I was trying to get me but okay the camera zooms out like normally like it does so now it switches to um do that okay okay so say we don't want that to happen when we um, we don't want to do it by collision which, which is kind of cool too because sometimes you want to maybe zoom in in certain areas which would be nice so let me go to uh, custom events player transport edit script and you notice here we have a um, zoom okay let me set that to three here and we're going to set uh, this fade in to three as well. So it's not going to make any difference. Save it. And we're going to try this. Press enter. Shift. Just need to get across there again. Hello, fishy. Hello. Okay, leave the fish there. We go to um, our transition here, and we don't have a zoom anymore. Oh my god. Because it's now set to uh, 3. Wait a second. <laughs> go back again. Uh, I believe we have different zooms. Okay, let me just... Um, Where this is set to two, okay. We're gonna set this down to three as well. And let me go back to the castle interior. Double click on our little guy here, which is invisible, but the script is not. And we're gonna set this at two three, so everything will stay consistent, okay. There might be better ways, but this works, guys. So, yeah. Let me just uh, get across here. Oh my god. Seriously. Come on, fish. You're not going to get me this time. So, we have no zoom. Go back again. Stays the same. Stays the same. So there you go, that's how you can change the cameras in the 001 game creator. Super simple. I really like how it zooms in and out. And don't forget that this can actually make 3D games. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to smack the like button down below and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you're watching this on my second channel, yes, subscribe to my second channel. Hey guys, see you in the next video. Bye now.